library family, this is Mr. Matt, and I'm here with my helper, Will. Hi. Say hi. And we are back for another STEAM challenge. So, Will, this week's STEAM challenge is all about color. How do we feel about color? I like it. I like color too. It's pretty great. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make our own paint with some common household items. Sound like fun? Mm -hmm. You've done this before. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. Okay. So what we've got with as far as our supplies, and Will, you can help me point out these supplies. We've got some water. Water. We've got some basic food coloring. Food coloring. So we've got our basic colors to start with. Um, and what are these? Popsicle sticks. Popsicle sticks, very good. And we've got an ice cube tray, and we've got some paper, which we'll use the paper later during the challenge. Um, the challenge is really kind of a, a two-part challenge. So we're gonna make um, some colored ice cubes. Yeah. And we're really gonna mix some of that color. So um, you might wanna do it the night before or a few hours earlier in the day. And this is a great challenge to do outside because it does get kind of messy. So if you do have a tray or newspaper or what else, tablecloth, you probably wanna use it because the food coloring can stain a little bit. You can so. also have like a big piece of paper. Or a big piece of paper. If you really want to. Exactly. So for our prep, what are we going to do, Will? We are going to pour some of that water into these ice cube trays. So just take your time. You can go ahead and pour those out. Here, I'll hold your tray for you. Great. And you can fill them on up. Good. And while he's filling those trays, um, really, uh, with this challenge, we're going to treat it like a math equation. How do you feel about math? We like math too, right? I love it. It's easy. Yep, we love math. And I want you to think of combining those colors as a math equation. So when we add colors together, it creates new colors, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we can kind of play with creating new colors. That's the whole point of this challenge. So as we're doing this challenge, um, you can use different textures of paper. Um, we've got some standard paper, but we're going to play with some watercolor paper and maybe some construction paper. And you're going to see that the ink is going to take a little bit differently to it. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating some paints with our basic food coloring colors. So library friends, we're back and we have frozen some of our ice paints that we made yesterday in our freezer. So we've got them here for you. We're gonna kind of show you how that works. So we've got our trays set up so we don't wanna make a mess. And I do wanna warn you, these are a little bit stainy. So we're gonna use our sticks here as handles, right? Cause we don't wanna get your fingers all. Like paintbrushes. Like paintbrushes, exactly. So let's see some of the colors that we made. Should we start with some of the basic ones? So let's just test this out and see what this looks like. We've cracked them up, but now we can paint with them. So well, why don't you go ahead and let's just make some lines and see what this looks like on our paper. So we've got some, some teal. Um, let's see what else we've got. Why don't you pick another color there, buddy? Um, oh, what's that? Orange. So how would we make that orange? Um, yellow and green. Some yellow and some green. All right, go ahead. Yellow and red. We got a line of red. And you and can then... barely see that. Yep. So, let's see what we can make. If we add a mixed color to a mixed color. So what color is this, Will? Brown. So that's some brown. So how do you think we got that brown? Did we mix all the colors? We did. We did. All right, so we've got a new painting for you here. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can make, dude. So I'm gonna just make some nature scenes. I'm gonna make a cute tree. Oh yeah, why don't you make some trees? You wanna use the brown? Um, I use the brown after I make leaves. Okay, yeah, go ahead, make some leaves and then we can make some trees. All right, you gotta press kinda hard because they're not melty yet. There you go. Now as you're working, you may need to darken these colors a little bit to get them to show up on our paper. So you may need to play with the amount of dye that you use. Here's some more green. Yeah. And depending on the type of paper that you use, 
you may try have different success. So we've used some watercolor paper here, um, but you may want to use, um, and maybe you only have construction paper. construction paper, or maybe you only have um, printer paper. So um, the, the food coloring does take differently to different types of paper, so you'll have to kind of play with the amount the of dye. Is this brown? That's the brown. Okay. The amount of dye um, to the amount of water. So we're joined by our friends at Sherwin Williams, who use math and science every day to create their own colors. So they use mathematical equations and technology to mix their own colors. So that is the colors that we get in store. Um, so we're going to hear from them in a minute. Um, but we can't wait to see what your artwork is. Um, don't forget to snap a picture of your artwork um, and hashtag it CCPL Steam and share it with us so you get credit for that summer reading game. And we look forward to seeing what you create. Right, Will? Yeah. Can't wait to see it. Um, and we'll see you at next week's challenge. All right. Say goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you soon. Hi, my name is Christine Silver, and I'm a quality director at the Sherwin Williams Company, one of the largest paint and coatings companies in the world. As part of my job, I interact with manufacturing plants and technical centers all across North America. I ensure that our paint quality is consistent and meets our performance requirements. I monitor complaints and work on projects to make sure our customers enjoy using our products. And I also focus on continuous improvement activities to help Sherwin Williams be more productive, innovative, and sustainable. When I go to work, I use math. For example, I plotted some color tests on a control chart to see how they were performing. In this case, I was seeing a lot of variation in the color results, which told me that we needed to do something different. I showed this chart to our chemists, who made a change in the formula. That formula change reduced the variation and that ensured that we had consistent results from batch to batch after that. This summer, I hope you find ways to incorporate math into your living.